we haven't finished building a new garden beds folks but I'm excited to get some seedlings in because I want to get some continuous picking and I want to be harvesting all in the one go so I'm going to plant some vegetables now in about a couple of weeks I'll be planting some more so we'll have our silver beef in this case here growing throughout the whole autumn winter and even spring season I've already started planting some these are the seedlings we sowed last month have a look at these little bitties there's probably a hundred or two hundred here. I haven't done a count yet, but I'm going to start separating these. I already have taken a little bit out of there. Now they're a little bit delicate. They haven't been hardened off completely, but I do open the hothouse on certain days so they can go a little bit firm. Now what I'm doing here to protect them whilst I'm planting them out into the ground. Now you remember me planting this garden bed or preparing this garden bed. We've got mulch underneath, then we put blood and bone black grit, which is our mending fertilizer. Then we put our compost on top and we've got our pea straw on top of that as well. Plus the irrigation, as you can see just there. Now what I'm doing along here is planting rows this way of silver beet, but I'm also using the old toilet paper, the dunny roll. Now this is a great little, let's call it a little hothouse protector environment that we put in here. It's like a pot as we had the seedlings growing, the, uh, the spring onions growing in. But what we do here is basically open up a bit of space. We put our seedling inside. Let's do this in real time like that. Dig a little hole like that. Let's get a little seedling. Here we've got one here, very fine root. Be very careful and delicate with these little critters. Put it straight into there like that. Push the soil back around it gently. Now we get the toilet roll and we carefully place it over the top of the seedling, making sure we don't catch any of the leaves. We use this to pick it up. There we are. And we turn it in into the soil so with a slight turning action. Now that's going to give it a bit more protection, especially from the moss, because they're so delicate still. They need to be protected whilst they establish their roots and you don't want the mulch sitting over the top of these little plants because they'll struggle to push their way through. So that's a great way to prepare your little seedlings in the garden bed, protect them. Now as they grow, you can remove the toilet roll if you like, but if you're watering over the top as you'll need to in the early stages, the toilet roll may actually decompose enough so that the plant doesn't stress out or you can just cut it away. But more importantly, to feed your plants with some liquid gold, which is a seaweed solution, which will strengthen the plant cell structure to protect it and some eco boost which is which is a biostimulant that will activate the microbial activity in your soil feed the microbes in your soil which means you've got yourself a powerhouse here that will fertilize your plants and protect them all year round and for this weekend folks the online team have told me they're going to be offering you a six pack of liquid gold and eco boost at six of each at practically half price online at vasilisgarden.com Go there now and order your six pack because I tell you something, your plants are going to love you for it. From Eva Silly, Maresi.